Hi, I'm Catherine Evans from WikiEd. In this video, we're going to look at how you record a lecture using your laptop and Sonocent Audio Note Taker. If you've just arrived in a lecture and you don't have the slides, you can choose Blank Project. If you've already downloaded the slides, you can choose Import Slides. If your lecture is online, you can choose from recording from the speakers only, which will just record the output of the lecture from your computer, or recording from the microphone and speakers um, that will record anything you say during the lecture as well. So if you're not going to be participating and talking during the lecture, choose recording from speakers only because that will mean it doesn't pick up any background noise or someone wandering in and talking to you. Um, only choose recording from microphone phone and speakers if you are going to also be talking. I'm going to go for a blank project because I'm recording myself and I'm going to hit the record button in the top left corner. So that is going to record from the microphone. If you have a plug in microphone, make sure it's plugged in before you start recording. Um, because if it is recording from the built in microphone, of course, that's pointing towards you and the lecturer will be the other side of the room. Um, a good tip for with your plug in microphone as well is if you place it behind your screen, your screen will act as a baffle and stop it picking up too much noise from you. How many notes you write during a lecture is entirely a personal thing, but it's a rec good recommendation that you at least write in the notes field the title of each slide because that will be very useful later on. So I'm just going to call this introduction. Um, as you're recording, when the lecturer changes slides, you add a new section. You can do this in several ways. You can click the section button at the top to insert a section break and it pushes the audio into the next section. So I'm going to call this section two. As I said, we should always try and write at least the title of the slide. Some people find making notes really hard. Um, you write too much. What could be a good tip would be to record the lecture making very minimal notes and then to listen back to the lecture later on and make the notes then. If you make the notes the second time you hear the lecture, they will be a lot more comprehensive. So the lecture has finished section two, but I wanted you to note that when you hovered over it, it said you could press F12, which is not always easy on a laptop, or control enter. So if I go for the second option of control enter, this moves my audio down to the next section. And you'll notice that my cursor has stayed in the text field because that's the one that's highlighted. So control and enter will act as a shortcut on the audio but still keep you in the text field so i'm going to write this section is about marking audio and using shortcuts so i'm recording as you notice on the right the the text pane is displayed because we are in the text pane in the center but i want to see what the shortcuts are for marking my audio so i can change the side panel on the right to a different side panel although my cursor is still in my notes field and i can still type notes so i have the option here to mark audio or sections and there is also an option to edit the color key or choose a different color key set. That's something that you can explore later on. But you'll notice that next to each of the audio colors, there is a number. And again, next to the section colors, that number is your shortcut key so that you don't have to keep using the mouse. Once you're typing in your notes, you're happily typing away and you can still mark up your audio by pressing control and I'm going to go for one important. So I'm happily typing my notes uh, and the lecturer has stopped saying the important thing so control one and it comes back off again. Uh, I'm now going to hit control enter to go to my next section and we're going to look at marking audio over sections. So this time I'm going to go for control three because my lecturer is now talking about a task that I've got to complete, um, i.e. the next lecture. And I'm going to press control enter to move to the next section because he's changed slides. You'll notice that the audio carries on in mark. Uh, 
And if I take it into a third section with control and enter, it will still carry on being marked in green. Let's take the cursor out of my software completely. So now we're going to look at marking sections. Sections are different to text, audio chunks, because they will only mark the whole section, not individual parts of the audio. So if I turn, if I do my control three, to turn my green off, um, you can see that now I've got part of the section marked in green and the rest is the normal blue color. If I was to mark a section instead, and again, we have shortcuts. So I'm going to mark this section as important. So control nine, you'll notice that it marked the background instead. And the reason for doing this is that when you finished making your recording and you you listen back to it and edit it you will be able to pull out that important information into a separate recording that you could listen back to so you can make small smaller recordings for revision for telling you what's expected on the next essay or anything that you think is particularly important and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit control enter to move to the next section and you will see that because I moved to the next section my Section color has now gone. So unlike chunk colors, section colors are specific to the section you're on and turn off the minute you move to the next section. And that is the basics of recording. There is just one more thing I'd like to say, and that is that whenever you type notes during a recording, those notes are linked to the audio. So if something really important is being said and you really want to remember it, type a note and it could just be something completely random but I'm just going to type important and when I come to edit this later I will be able to see exactly what was being said when I wrote the word important and that's going to be really really useful for me. I'm Catherine Evans from WikiEd. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos on assistive technology and if you want to find me on social media search for WikiEd Essex.